I've just gotten in a breaking story that Bisaka Denzel Demofries swap transfer has been rejected and we're going to get to know who has rejected what and who had gone ahead to propose what onto the table of the other. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're really watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're really watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. As this transfer swap of the right back of man united goes ahead dalo has gone ahead obviously try to work <clears throat> to his full fitness and see to it that he maintains his right back position in the first team of eric ten Hag. and dan goes transfer to port valley looks like it's just hours away from being confirmed by eric ten Hag and the board of Manchester united welcome to the <clears throat> this channel let's see close to 200 likes much in this video and let's not forget to subscribe so as not to hit so as not to forget hitting the magic number and what is the magic number and the magic number has always been and the magic number has always been uh i think it's now gonna be 17,000 subscribers before the end of this month and let's continue to subscribe now let's thank god for the gift of life the muslims barak laufikum and let's obviously get on going as planned this is a story coming in through from <coughs> charlie watt he's a football editor at the sun telling us that Manchester united have rejected a swap deal from inter milan of denzo Demofries for aaron one bisaka something that is really shocking you get very very shocking and if it's on football matters we all anticipate that this could be the ideal replacement for Aaron Van Bissaka he's a Dutch player that Eric Ten Hag has gonna hate obviously like for a very long time and to me I would on any day allow this swap to happen Denzel Demaf is in Aaron Van Bissaka out but it looks like the new the new um the new team that is obviously in control of the footballing matters the club of man united has gonna hate obviously say not to it because they need to see a real evaluation of these players and really get to know that we really do the needful and this is what is gonna make in this is what's gonna make united getting in players hard it's gonna be hard for Manchester united to get in players that is it it's really gonna be hard for them to obviously get in to obviously get in players this generator transfer window because they don't want to make any 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 faults into this transfer window and that's why you see it that you are going to see very many players getting out and very few getting in and for everyone who can get in i predict it's gonna be a loan with no option to buy these players are going to be assessed by the club of Manchester United, like the new CEO who is still working, who is going to commence his work in the summer. That is Omal Bre, Breneda, is it Beren, Ber, 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 Berada? And he's going to come in through and obviously do this. So they don't want to do stuff that is obviously not good for them. But I think if I thought it was Eric Ten Hag, he would have gone ahead to embrace this because he has always gone ahead to love Denzel Demafries to come in through the club of Manchester United. But the other factor is the um michael olise factor <laughs> that is it michael olise is one of those players that man united especially the new the new heads of football operation the club of man united that is Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his counterparts are interested in and with crystal palace wanting to sign aaron bisaka back they are totally looking to gate this as or to use to use him as a pawn or a bait and this is what united might be looking at and say right let's keep let's keep <clears throat> let's keep um let's keep aaron one aaron one bisaka and after keeping him here we will obviously go in and use him as a make weight for the transfer of michael lisa that could cost 60 million pounds and if at all bisaka is valued at like 30 then Manchester united will obviously offer 30 million pounds to crystal palace that is another reason that you cannot even rule out you need to obviously give it a very good go and obviously understand that it's one of those reasons that such stuff might not happen at the club of Manchester united that denzel Freeze is allowed to come in through the other factor as to why this deal is not gonna 
all these leaders are gonna hate to be rejected by Man United because Inter Milan is the other one that I'm gonna hate to offer Dezo Demafries for Aaron Bissaka is Manchester United are left in two tournaments only. And there is no reason as to why to get in a right back because they know that Aaron and Bissaka and Dalo can do the job until the end of the season and then a very good assessment will be made on whether to keep uh, Aaron and Bissaka or not. So to me, those are the reasons as to why I think Manchester United are really, really having a rejection, you know, from an offer coming in through from Inter Milan. But I'm yet to confirm it from credible sources that Denzel Demafries has been offered to Manchester United to do a swap. That is it. But he's a very good player and he's this kind of player that will obviously offer a lot into the final third of the pitch. And maybe they look at Denzel Demafries as one of those players that is a look-alike to Diego Dalo, and they might obviously be scouting in a right back that is gonna be a little bit younger, like 20 years of age, and is willing to be understand an understudy for Diego Dalo. And you know what Man City is gonna hate to be doing, and the former huge guy at Manchester City coming in through to do the job at the club of Manchester United, that means he'll obviously not allow such to happen at certain times. So to me, I really understand exactly what is happening and why this has gone ahead to be rejected but i don't know what your thoughts are about it now for <clears throat> diego dalo the partner in crime to aaron Wan bisaka whom they are competing the same position with we have a story coming in from samuel lucas on how he has gone ahead obviously look through himself to obviously become a better player and we've been told diego dalo is practically fad 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 fadi fastidious after that di about deity he has become more durable since having his eyes opened by the famed milan lab during a season long a season long loan with ac milan in 2021 2022 yeah by the way there is a professor that went ahead to draw that lab you know in milan and they went ahead to offer him a lot of money that's been there for so long for like two decades it has gone ahead to do wonders in Milan. If at all you want to know about that lab, you can as well go and really and search about it. You will know exactly how it has gone ahead to help Dalo. And nutrition is very, very important. For everyone who is still alive, nutrition is really very, very important. And it is really one of those things that you have to obviously keep an eye on when you're really going to play some good games of football and really not get injured. Dalo has gone ahead to put himself into the first team of Man United. He has gone ahead to offer a lot. <clears throat> Diego Dela has gone ahead to offer a lot into this and he has gone ahead to really see to it that he puts in a lot of effort to gate in these people that have gone ahead to obviously help him really improve his nutrition as a player and his nutrition is improving slowly by slowly and trust me with time he's gonna really hit the nail with a very huge mark because this is what you need to excel as a player at the high levels of football that is diego dalo for you and he's really one of those that stays on training at carrington to see to it that everything really goes on as to plan then lastly at this episode we are having danny go fabrizio romano told us that united he already understands that port valley are closing in on a deal to sign danny go from manchester united on loan agreement being finalized for 20 for 2004 bond talent manchester united are set to approve a loan move for Dango until the end of the season. That's what Fabricio Romano is going to let us know. And Mel Spot has told us that Dango is expected to complete his loan move to Port Valley today. So, today is going to be a very huge movement for Danny Go. And I think the manager, the manager managing Port, Port Valley has been approved by the scouts of Man United and Eric Ten Hag. Because remember last season, Ten Hag really said no. Zan Iqbo to go on loan, yet Michael Carrick needed him at Middlesbrough and then even Dan Go, right? And um uh sorry, and Kobe Menu, he said I would love to see them trade with the first team. Now, if a decision has been made by the board of Man United for this guy to go on and play at Port Valley, that will help him really get in more playing time and minutes to thrive very well. 
So that is it coming in through from the stories that we had. Your thoughts on to Bisaka, Demo Freeze, Swap Deal rejected by Manchester United. I welcome in the comment section. Well, you make about Diego Dalo, obviously knowing what nutrition is all about. And lastly, your thoughts on to Danny Gore, to Port Valley. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later, my lovelies.